really important to cover retail scams because when I first lost my hair, I was on television, and I think I was kind of like a financial target, right? So people sold me things that should have been 500 that I paid $5,000 for, and there are certain things that you need to be careful with when you're ordering, especially online. Number one, the manufacturer of the wig should always have a website. And make sure you take the time to check out that website for two reasons. One, you want to make sure they're an existing real company. But number two, when you go into a store, you could say, you know what, I saw this style by this manufacturer. It's online right now. Can you just check the color? It makes the process a little easier. You also want to make sure that if you're buying in the store or even online, that the sample that you looked at, maybe sometimes like a created here, I'll send the sample color to someone. But you want to make sure that the color that you pick is the color you receive. So when you get your wig, the first thing you do is take out the wig, shake it out, take your sample color, or even look online for the color that you ordered, and make sure it's the color that you ordered. I'm not saying that all retail establishments are out to get you, but sometimes things get lost in translation, people are rushing to get things out in time, so you want to make sure that your piece is the one you ordered. Also, there's a little padlock on a website. If you go to the address bar, there's a little padlock, HTTPS. You want to make sure it has the S. What that means is it's been verified to accept your credit card and is a secure website. And right now, with all the fraud going on, it's really important. Also, when I was first ordering pieces, either I would never hear from them again, or it would take a lot longer than what was promised to get. So. You want to stay on top of your order. You want to make sure you get a confirmation immediately after you order. And if you're in a store, you want to make sure they've given you the receipt. And then you want to follow up. And if it's not in your hands by 10 days, I would be concerned. So call that company. And if you find that you can't get a hold of them or they're not getting back to you, I'd literally stop the charge because that's not a good sign. And most people in this industry that are real, they care they're on top of it, and they will get back to you. And if they don't, you need to question that, okay? A big pet peeve I have is when I would go in and, and somebody would have a piece on the rack that was close to my color, but not exactly my color, but yet they push me into that because it was convenient for them. Hair loss is an emotional roller coaster, and a lot of us are vulnerable when we go in, and a lot of people know that if they're not within their integrity. And some retail shops are more concerned about paying the rent. So they'll take something off the rack that it's not exactly what you want, but it could be close. And believe it or not, that one hue difference or that inch can make a real difference between you looking in the mirror and knowing, ah, oh, that's me, to something's off. You know, like it doesn't look right, doesn't feel right. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure whatever piece you are being shown that you take it into natural light with a mirror, even if you have to hand them your license, if they're worried about you walking out the door with, your, with their piece, I want you to make sure that you're true of your color, okay? I want you to make sure that you're true to your color choice. It's really important. Things look different inside. Even when I go to retail shops now to buy makeup, I hate looking at indoor light. Well, the same thing happens with wigs. You won't get the proper hue. Take a moment, breathe, honor this process with yourself right now and say, excuse me, I'd like to take this color outside. And it's best to take a friend when you're going wig shopping so you have an extra pair of eyes. But what I don't want you to do, and what I suggest highly that you don't get sucked into, is being pushed. Don't buy anything that you absolutely don't feel is correct. I know we all get excited. Oh my God, this looks so good. This is hair. Oh my God. That doesn't mean it's right. I want you to take a breath. Look outside of yourself for a moment. Try to be a third person looking in if it's possible. And go, let me just see how this really looks. Yeah, it's a nice piece, but let me, let me just really take a look at this. And take your time. Don't let anybody push you into buying anything. You can always go back to another place tomorrow. Okay? Great.